are people going to steal our stairs? We're not sure that this is OSHA approved. Uh, while we can't tell you yet what it is, Marley clearly knows it's for him. And we actually ate here. Well, it's, this process. it's actually the fourth attempt. Oh, hello. Uh, the Wandering Shores are here with Chris and Courtney from Amputee Adventure, and we are meeting Broken Dreams Reborn, Sean and Matthew here at the Cracker Barrel for supper tonight. Uh, super excited. Um, we did see Sean and Matthew at the bash, and we actually ate here a year ago with Sean and Matthew. But um, one of the reasons for this uh, meeting tonight is so that Broken Dreams Reborn can meet Chris and Courtney, because Sean and Courtney have been talking Hashtag um, APT Adventures. Because they well they've been talking <laughs> about a job that, that they they're both uh, <laughs> that they both applied for. I was thinking about pulling the truck against. over and parking right next to you. <laughs> Here they are, everyone. Hey everybody. How y'all doing? We're going into Cracker Barrel. It's been a while since we've been on one of these. We're excited. We get extra lights for our stairs while we're gateboarding in Texas. And I was like, I wonder why, you know? And they were like, so you can see your stairs. And I'm thinking, are people gonna steal our stairs? And they want you to look before you go out or you're gonna just fall right on your face. But that wasn't the reason. It's because of. I honestly thought people were stealing. It's because of the, the what the snakes, the snakes and, the, and whatever other what animals other might be out there. Creatures that come out at night <laughs> that you need to see. When see you what I'm working with, here. folks. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's very early. Yes, and but it's not windy. That's the key. Uh huh. So what are we doing? We're putting uh, the decal on the back window. This is take two well, of this process. It's actually the fourth attempt. Before we hit the road, I tried putting one on myself oh, well, yeah. and it was horrible. So I had to reorder it. And then I had the professionals put on the second one that you've seen for many years yes. with the kind of cloudy background and the, the wandering shore symbol. And then last week or two weeks ago, I tried putting on my <laughs> another one myself and it was... It was it was a mess. So yeah, we apologize. No, there was for no the, footage of that. He was too distraught. Yes. Way too distraught. So today we've got some new tips. We've got a new sticker, and we've talked to our buddy Jesse from Adventure Endeavor, and he's given us some tips. So we're going to try those. Um, he used to be a professional, so he said he'd do it the dry method without the soapy water. But I'm not confident enough that I can still do it the dry method. So we are going to use some soapy water on it today, but fingers crossed this is the, the last time we're going to have to do this. Yay. So what do you guys think? Is it, it works. square? Is it level? And is it going to adhere? <laughs> time will tell but uh, I think we got it. I need to do a little more trimming on the inner, in, right where the uh, two windows come together. I just need to trim a little bit more off so that there's not a lip there to get caught on anything or to start peeling up as easy. So pretty happy with it. So fourth time's a charm. Yeah, that's right. I think the biggest challenge today was uh, as Kyle was walking back and forth, not having him trip over rocks. I think that was the biggest yeah, challenge. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for her. She she didn't even show me where they were. She just let me trip. So we got something for the cats after several recommendations from our friends Dawn and Rob. And uh, while we can't tell you yet what it is, Marley clearly knows it's for him. He's sitting on it already. <laughs> what do you think, Marley? Is that for you? All right, we got Michelle in here opening up the package that we got today. Look at him, you can tell he's interested. They're gonna be so excited. Yeah, I was really getting a little concerned that our cats don't have much vertical space, and I know how important that is 
when you have cats. So after Kyle and I talked about it, we thought this, this um, is gonna work out well, giving them that extra vertical space. Lots of pieces. Oh, look, it's in the shape of a cat. We have all the pieces taken out of the box and laid out here. And the plan is to install it on this wall. This is not the most sturdy wall, but it's our really our only option. Plus it'll allow them to kind of climb up here. And especially when we have the garage door open, it'll give them a chance to kind of sit up here and look outside and do some height climbing. Michelle? Yes. and. Shouldn't be too difficult. There's all the directions fit on this one Dad's single work. page. So Marley's checking out Dad's work. So I've got it laid out, and now I just need to set it against the wall, and then figure out where the anchors go to secure it to the wall Our to help give it some adventurous stability. cat to check out his new toy. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> what do you think? Room up at the top. You went all the way yeah. up to the top. <laughs> You're up pretty high. <laughs> See? Then you come down. All right, we'll keep you updated on how he likes it. Michelle, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? We are getting ready to go meet Eric and Kristen up at the front of the Imperial Dam LTVA because they're going to be camped right beside us. So Eric and Kristen, we met back in August of 2021. We had been exchanging some text messages or messaging on social media and found out that we were camped in the exact same spot as us. They actually went off the road probably about a year and a half ago and bought some property in South Carolina but decided they missed traveling so much that they got in another class a and hit the road again about a month ago so they're gonna stop by here and we got some projects planned over the next couple days and I'm sure we'll probably videotape some of that but we'll introduce them to you here when we get up there Wow! Hello. Hi. welcome to your imperial dam we made it <laughs> Up, man. Oh, he's going to blind you. How you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Amazing. I know. Oh, she always picks the... Uh, oh, I, I, I drove from things. Phoenix to, I don't know, maybe two and a half hours in where it was just straight. Yeah, no, no windy no roads. And then yet. Kristen gets on and <laughs> Jersey walls, windy roads. We were expecting to get here before dark. <laughs> yeah. well, I told Michelle, I said somehow he turned a three hour trip into a 10 hour trip. But, so. Very typical for us. It's Saturday morning and Kyle is already hard at work helping our friends Kristen and Eric from the Unrouted um, working on their solar panel project on their new to them Class A RV. So let's see what they're up Good to. Good morning from the top of the world here in long term visitor area. Imperial Dam. I am on top of our friend Eric and Kristen's new fifth wheel, or I'm sorry, new our Class A. And today's project is going to be installing solar. He's got about 2,500 watts of solar that are going to go up here. What's really, really unique, I'm going to come up here to the front. What's really, really unique is the air conditioner is down below in a bay. So we've got extra real estate up here uh, on the roof that we can put panels. So uh, this is the project for this beautiful Saturday. Day, Saturday. It's the last uh, weekend that we're going to be here before we head on to our next destination over in Texas. So we'll keep you updated. The guys on how are up goes. on the roof putting the solar panels in. We've recruited several of our friends here in the area. Uh, we're not sure that this is OSHA approved, but. I will be filming as he comes down. So we uh, we didn't have a chance to watch Eric climb down the makeshift ladder situation with the truck because he was able to actually walk between the panels. But uh, now we've got the supervising crew down here on the ground. We've got Michelle, Chris, whoop, Chris, and Don, and myself. And then we've got Kristen, Eric, 
and Rob up, up top working. So it's our last weekend here at Imperial Dam. Uh, we were spending most of the day working on Eric and Kristen's solar setup. We're not completely done, but we got all the panels installed on the roof. Uh, we're just waiting on a few items to come in the mail on Monday so that we can finish that job up. And then we are having our, what we're calling the end of the season potluck. Sorry, Michelle, potluck one by a landslide when it comes to whether or not it's called potluck or pitch in. So um, yeah, we invited all our friends that are still here in the area. Several have already had to take off um, over the last day or two, so they weren't able to attend it. But uh, we are excited about having everyone here and just kind of enjoying the community before many of us split our different ways. So uh, yep, it's all about community. This goes to the <laughs> Denali walks away, <laughs> or maybe, maybe Noel pulled her. Oh, now all of them are coming. Who knows, this may hit the editing floor and never be re revealed, um, but if it's not, you've at least got the first snapshot on what we're planning December 2023.